What's going on guys? Today I want to talk a little bit about some misconceptions about the ketogenic diet. I get a lot of people who come on there, they're like, you know, I tried out the ketogenic diet. I just got so sick of chewing on chicken and steak all the time. It, it really sucked. And then I'll read articles, articles, fitness articles from fitness magazines where they're talking about the ketogenic diet is a high protein diet. Listen, the ketogenic diet is not a high protein diet. I know that there's a lot of bodybuilders out there who are saying that they're doing a ketogenic diet and eating tons of protein and eating tons of vegetables, but here's the thing, they're not doing a ketogenic diet. It's not to say what they're doing is horrible or bad or anything like that, but it is not the ketogenic diet. You know, I, I typically when we think of keto, and I, I saw this on Instagram the other day, somebody was saying they were keto, and they posted pictures of their meals, and their meals were these chalky looking pieces of chicken breast or fish in a Tupperware container next to some steamed vegetables. That's not the ketogenic diet. What is the ketogenic diet? The ketogenic diet is 80%, 70% to 80% fat, 10 to 20% protein, under 10% carbohydrates, right? You're gaining, you're putting yourself into a state of ketosis by depriving yourself of glucose and eating a lot of fat so that you can begin to convert your fat stores into ketones. That's the premise of the ketogenic diet. Of course, you can modify it in different ways, and there are ways of modifying it so that you maybe have a little bit higher protein intake. There have been people who've modified it so that they're cycling carbs in and out. If you read Dan Duchesne's Underground Body Opus, or if you read Dr. Moro De Pasquale's Anabolic Diet, then these are some versions, some modifications to the ketogenic diet. Other people do modified, other modified versions of the ketogenic diet. We see a lot of paleo athletes out there who may include carbohydrates from time to time, but avoid things like gluten and bread and, um, and, and things that don't come out of the ground. Um, we have diets like the Walls Protocol, which I mentioned yesterday, which is a very strict paleo protocol um, that actually restricts a lot of things that people on the ketogenic diet would be eating. So it's even stricter, I think, in some ways than, than the traditional ketogenic diet. Um, my point is this, a lot of people just haven't tried it out and they haven't tried it out in the manner in which it's going to work for them, right? So if you are an average sized person and you think you're doing keto and you're eating 200 grams of protein a day, or even if you're eating 150 to 180 grams of protein per day, then you're probably not experiencing the benefits of ketosis. Now, why is that important? Well, I always talk about the ketogenic diet and, and my love for the ketogenic diet because I feel that it's something that doesn't just get you to your physical goals, but also can help your mood, can help your cognition, can help you think sharper, to think clearer, right? And, and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much because I'm a believer that fitness shouldn't just make you look good and it shouldn't just make you bigger, stronger, and faster. It should also add to every other aspect of your life. And that's what it did for me. And that's why I'm, a, I'm an advocate for it. Uh, it made me a it made me be in a better mood more of the time, which made me a better person. Um, it made me better at my job. It made me stronger. It made me leaner, but it also, you know, made me happier as in, in general. And I'm not joking about that. When you get into ketosis and you experience the constant stream of ketones to your brain, you don't get tired, which means in my case, I don't get moody. You know, at, when, it, when two, three o'clock comes around after I've eaten my lunch or my first meal of the day, I don't get tired like most people do. I, and then I can go through a full 12 hour work day and then head off to jujitsu, right? And have trained earlier in the morning with weights. That's why I love the ketogenic diet. And, and on times when I'm not able to eat all the time, I can still train. Um, I tell this story a lot. I went out to Electric Daisy Carnival uh, a few years ago, and it was three days out Las Vegas desert at the Las Vegas Speedway in the heat. I'm not eating much out there. I'm not drinking much. All I was taking was a little bit of coconut oil. I uh, had some macadamia nuts, um, 
a little bit of beef jerky and water. That's it. Very minimal calories. After those three days, I came back and I PR'd on the front squat. So that's what I'm talking about. And, and uh, I think that with all the misconceptions out there, with all of the, the issues out, or not issues, but all the misconceptions, all of the false information that's being spread about the diet, that's why I talk about it so much. Because I don't consider myself the keto guy. I coached a lot of people who didn't use the ketogenic diet, and I decided not to use it on them. Um, I think that there's more than one way to skin a cat, but the reason why I talk about it so much is because I think a lot of you out there miss the point on it, and you misperceive exactly what it is. So all I'm asking is that you educate yourself on it before you talk crap about it, before you, you, you poo-poo it or anything like that. Uh, and if you want to learn more about the ketogenic diet, running a free webinar this Sunday at 9 a.m. I'll put the link for you to register below. Completely free, come on. You ask us any questions. It's gonna be me and my buddy Matt, my co-author on Warrior Soul Keto Camp. We are uh, gonna be taking any and all questions about anything you want. If you wanna ask us about ketosis, you can. If you wanna ask us about supplementation, you can. If you wanna ask us about anything to do with nutrition or fitness, you can. So I'll put the link to sign up for that below. Uh, and when you do sign up, we provide a free grocery list uh, that has several different protocols on it, one for paleo, one for a general ketogenic diet, and one for those of you who may, may or may not suffer from autoimmune disease, which um, keto has been known for, to be good for. That's one of the reasons why I love the ketogenic, ketogenic diet again is because um, it's been, it been really helpful in helping me to control my ulcerative colitis symptoms. Um, and uh, so we'll provide you with that and we'll get you a free copy of our Keto Adaptation Guide. And you get membership into our private Facebook group for the Warrior Solo Goji where I give you free workouts every day. Not a bad deal and I'll answer your questions. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope that this was informative. Let me know if you need anything at all. Talk to you soon. Peace.